There's no problem there. Ooh, well, mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Well, mm. I'm with you on the blondes. Burnett's are fine too. And there's nothing wrong with a good redhead. Do you have Velasco's ownership <laughs> papers? I, I do. You know what? I might have to lift that embargo soon in the interest of maintaining a free market. A man with high standards. My standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey. I have Velasco's ownership papers. Everything is presumably legit, so I'm, I'm expecting to find the, the Marquis Printing Company full of assholes, pretty much, and liars that are in cahoots with the GTA operation. Wow, that looks like a beauty. It's interesting. It's one of those, uh, one of those, the first case that I don't have to, like, walk around and look for evidence, but just talk to people. It's really interesting. And what can I do for you, gentlemen? I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am, Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contract to print pink slips. I've done for some years. Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. We'll keep it in mind. Uh, hmm. All right. I guess let's go. We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightball. I guess he wouldn't know much about Coombs' auto deliveries. Knowledge of theft racket. I wouldn't want to go there immediately. You don't look too nervous yet. Coombs' auto deliveries. All right, let's ask about that. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightball? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, detective. I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. You know they're in cahoots, just bad cop it all the way through. Well, I can't accuse people of lying without, uh, without evidence, so I can just doubt them. Hand it over, light ball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well, but this really is irregular. Over here. Look for legend. patterns, recurring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. Well, he's working. It's quite a lot of, a lot of stuff. Uh, as before, Industrial Street. Industrial Street is pretty interesting. You certainly encourage repeat business, light bulb. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. Wait, why did you close it? I wasn't finished. Hmm. Okay. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. <laughs> well, he is probably the best liar I've seen so far. Harrison bought his car from Coombs. The pink slip looks good, and that points the finger here. It does. Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't. They've all been carefully screened. Look, now that I think about it, the name Coombs sounds familiar. I think they may have been involved in stolen documents in the past. They may have been involved in stolen documents. I don't think Mr. so. Mr. Lightball, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? Let's view the notebook. Multiple pink slips found in possession of multiple GTA suspects. Well, I guess that's kind of, you know, 
I think you're kind of full of shit. I think you're in this up to your neck, light bulb. You're out of your mind. What an allegation. I'll report you to your Wait, superiors. The chief of police is a very good friend what? of mine. I should have selected... Why, why didn't it let me... Oh, okay, I can select the, the evidence. The pink slips, right? Pressing X. A very heartfelt and genuine apology is in order from you, young man. Really now? Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. I don't know. I guess that wasn't a lie. But... Pogo, you accuse him without evidence. I thought it was evidence, right? If you have, um, if I found a bunch of legit pink slips from, from car fucking thieves, isn't that evidence? I don't know. I guess not. I guess not. I think I fucked up. Man. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm bad at games. I don't know. It's very hard for me to, to actually catch someone lying, you know? You know the way. You can drive. <laughs> Do we know where we're going? Wait, I can still... What? Oh, I can't go back here. Anyway, let's go to Industrial Street. Whatever. So we're expecting to see a warehouse of stolen vehicles. Man, this is the hardest one so far. I thought you Marines were gung ho, Cole. You have a 45, don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Just give me a few seconds to get around there. That's a solid argument for risking your lives. Awesome. All right, 30 FPS shooter, let's go. Cole Phelps, LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. You think so, huh? Look sharp at the cop! Throw out the guns! Oh boy. Did I get him? No, I didn't. Ah, fuck. There's so many. Oh my god, is anyone actually helping me here? Oh, they don't die in one hit this time. How long do you think you can hold out? Get her, get out of the cover. Oh fuck, what the hell happened? Get fucked. Oh, it's the last guy. Where is he? Let's move forward! Alright, let's. You're pretty brave. Stay down. I don't think I got him. I got him. Woof. Or these cops are built different. I don't want to get drilled in the back of the way out. Ah. Go on. Stay in cover. Oh, ho, ho. Try the door at the end. I heard something. Fuck yeah, we don't need cover. <laughs> we don't need help. Alright, alright, don't shoot! Keep your hands up. Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. Yeesh. That suck. I'm not saying anything till I've seen a lawyer. Really, now. Alright. So, what do you suggest? I mean, I've looked around, right? So let's let's look around, I guess. Let's look around in the office. So what's this shit? 
Marquee Printing Company. Marquee Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. Okay, Gordon Lightball. <sighs> what I don't understand is could I have gotten the when I looked at the the little paper and and got the the, the address of Industrial Street. Could I, could I have left the Marquis Company, come here, and then go back to the Marquis Company, and then accuse him? Because sometimes, the game just won't let me go back to places. So I just, I don't know. I feel like when I get to a place, I have to exhaust, like, all of the stuff. A betting slip. A betting slip. Looks like Mr. Lightfall has been on a losing streak. Oh, boy. So he's a gambler, and he needed some money on the side. What about this stuff? More key printing companies. These are the slips from slip him. here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. Exactly. We've got a trail of pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck, but I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I do work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the Ballad of Bulge. I can't give you anything. Well then. We know about Marquee Printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem there. Well, mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Well, mm. um, well, there are at least four dead men in this warehouse. A couple more. Punks won't make for that much extra paperwork. We'd be doing the legal system a favor. Okay, okay, tough guy. I get the message. Lightfall, the guy who runs Marquis. Light He's ball. the big shot. He likes to spend big at the track. He owes people. Wait, what did he say? <laughs> He's a big shot. He likes to spend big at the track. He owes people. All right. Well, I can go back and... I can go back and fucking take it out Light of him. Ball. But The guy with no luck at the track. Tell me about him. One of the guys lying over there. You're right. He has no luck. Wait, really? What are you on about? What? Lying over there? Did I just kill him? Without noticing? There's no fucking way. So he looks cool, but he's actually lying. That's the best lie you can come up with, Bigelow? Hey, would I lie to you, detective? I'm not exactly in a good position here now, am I? Well, we have just fucking seen him so how would I uh, fuck how do I prove that it's not him I guess I can't maybe maybe you should have given me ah uh, fuck delivery ledger delivery note signed off like how long are we gonna do this I mean uh, these Things don't necessarily mean that he wasn't here, but... I mean, I guess it does? Either the ledger or the delivery note. This this is much more... This is much more convincing, I think. Gordon Lightball owns Marquee Printing, a government print shop. He's losing big at the track. He has these big government contracts. He's in Hawk over 20 grand if the feds find out. Contracts will be all over. Lightfall plays ball. All right, Bigelow. The heat is off you. Play your cards right, and you'll be able to count your time in Quentin on one hand. All right, nice. Because just seeing the ledger doesn't really tie him necessarily to Lightfall, but the delivery note means that he's physically not there. And that he's signing cards to go to Industrial Street. Apprehend the boy. 
What a mess. Ugh, gonna take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, they shouldn't bring guns to work with them. We didn't have a lot of choice. You have to admire the bare-faced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and pleads innocence the next. Yeah, especially when he's surrounded by evidence. But guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Bigelow, Lightball, all of them. If they hadn't, who knows how long they could have kept this racket going. Complacency or greed. It's always one of the two that brings them down. Man, I love how uh, this case just unfolds. It's awesome. It's probably my favorite favorite one yet, but it's it's very it was quite hard to to keep track of every all the details. Probably not there. I oh there he is actually. You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. Well, we found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, light bulb. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. Let me think. Sign for all the orders and deliveries. I mean, I don't know if that's true. Hmm, let's use intuition. I'm a little confused. Uh, well, the evidence. I mean, I can show him the betting slips, like, and the gambling debt and all that stuff, right? But I don't know if that's super convincing. I, I, I mean, that, that is not very cool. Box of pink slips, we found it there. That cannot be good, right? So, I think you're a liar. Save it, Lightball. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. The p box of pink slips with your name on it? Yeah. What you're doing here is slanderous, detective. And you'll be hearing from my lawyer about it. What? Gordon Lightball, I'm charging what? you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. What? How is it cool for, for the box to, to be not, now where not in this I place? See? With the two GTA suspects we had to let walk free? Or with a female suspect who I am reliably told slipped the leash with embarrassing ease? You just lost the chance to crack one of the biggest criminal operations in this city. How do you think that makes me look? The chief has my balls in a frying pan! Now get out there and fill some charge sheets. Misdemeanors if you have to. Get me something before I even think about giving you another case. Yeesh. Wow, did I fuck up that bad? Damn. The box could end up there via negligence as well, not necessarily malicious. With the theft racket smashed, Lightball and his cronies will climb over one another to cut a deal. Damn it! I'm pissed! I'm pissed. Can I restart My this? Runs a shipping business in San Francisco. We used to have two ships a week to Tokyo. We've been in shipping for two generations, Hank. I've never been on a voyage anywhere. I feel like Odysseus in the beginning of his journey. The Odyssey took ten years, Cole. This is the American century. America can rule the world after we win this war. We need to stay alive, Cole. These men are counting us. You hear what the veterans are saying to each other? No. Golden Gate in 48. That's four more hard years of fighting. That's the first case I failed.